you said last year that you would walk away from the club if it was found that they had misled you over their denials of breaking financial rules. Given the sheer scale of the charges issued by the Premier League this week, how confident are you that you have been told everything? Has it in any way affected your belief in the club? Good morning, everyone. My first words on behalf of the club is for the, our thoughts for the people in Turkey and Syria. For this uh, terrible moment, uh, it's happened. Uh, my first thought is that we are already being condemned. So, like it's happened, what's happened right now, these weeks after Monday, it's happened the same what happened in UEFA. That UEFA, it was a condemn. We were, uh, we had already accusation, accusation, now we have just charge. Why should, in that moment when overturned the situation, when they, what they told me before they defend the accusation for UEFA, the club proved that were completely innocent, why should not think right now when there is not, not even accusation, it's just condemned, it's just charges or suggestions. So you have to understand that uh, between 90 teams of the Premier League is accusing us without the latest the opportunity to defend. And the word of my club, my owner, my chairman, my CEO, my people explain everything during these three or four years. You know exactly in what on what side I am. You're confident and obviously innocent until proven guilty, clearly. But because of the unprecedented number of charges over such a long period of time, hmm. does it sadden you that inevitably there will be some out there, people watching on, who will reach a conclusion that some of the achievements, the record-breaking achievements that you've, you've brought to this club are tainted? Another side, I would say that we are lucky we live in a, in a marvelous country that uh, we have a society when everything, everyone, like you said, is innocent until proven guilty. We didn't have this opportunity. We are already sentenced and tough. What's going to happen, I don't know. So, in the other side, I'm personally, I'm happy that we are here because, like we have happen, okay, you have the chance to defend. We cannot defend. I think we have a good lawyers, but we cannot say that UEFA had the bad, bad lawyers. And I think the Premier League supported for 19 teams to put it out for the Premier League are going to take a good lawyers too, to defend the position like we are going to defend our position. I would have loved to wait and see, and the time will see, or the time will dictate what is going to happen. In just in case we are not innocent, we will accept what the judge, the Premier League, decide. But what happened if in the, the same situation that UEFA happened, we are innocent? What happened to restore or pay back our damage? Because the damage is now is for one decade, eight, nine, ten. So one week later, UEFA make a sentence against us. Nine teams, Burley, Wolves, Leicester, Newcastle, Spurs, Arsenal, United, Liverpool, Chelsea. Out of the Champions League, they won at that position. Like Julius Cesar said, there are not in this world, there are not enemies or friends. There are just interests. And they wanted to put it out to take that position that we want on the pitch, you know, take it there and take it in our position. So now, is the same is different than in that moment? Absolutely zero. The same. The same articles, the same accusations, the same everything. You have to be out of the uh, UEFA Champions League. You have to go to League One. No, no, League One is too much. League Two, or maybe Conference. We were in Main Road. We were not a team who won a long history, a lot of titles. We have been in the low divisions. We'll be back there. No, not a problem, just in case. We'll call Paul Dikov, Mike Summerby, and we will do again a good, a good, uh, a good process. We'll be back. I'm pretty sure. But should wait. They should wait. Because at the end, it's okay. The Premier League had not decide. Put it there. Okay, we're going to defend ourselves. What happened in the, in the, in the UEFA situation? Didn't wait, and now didn't wait either. 
what was the reaction of the players and your message to them, and how do you prevent them from being distracted by such a unprecedented story? It's not an unprecedented story. It's a second time of the story. We lived that before, two or three years ago. What was a sentence? He is not. Don't forget it. He is not. You accuse us. <laughs> that should be out. But between these 19 before and these 19 teams now, between the word of them or the word of my people, I'm sorry, I rely on the word of my people. Do you have an address with no, the players? We did. I, the club, okay. I talked with all of us, but I didn't speak with training like normal to try to beat uh, Aston Villa. And you're confident that they won't be distracted, the players? Why should I be distracted with the confidence with my players? What do we want? So the moment from Sergio score, the moment for Ilkal Gundogan and Aston Villa score, for all the big moments we are living, the seven years belong to us. For our fans, for our people. And this is no one can pull it out. It's impossible. So, and after, okay, the court will dictate to what happened. And I said before, so at the end it's nice. But after, when it's going to happen, I'm fully convinced that we'll be innocent. What will happen next? We will stop now? It's not because of the UEFA. So, since Abu Dhabi took over, or take over the club, since the day one, it was like that.